What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I'm happy to announce that we have just released three new procedural assets to our City Builder 3D add-on for Blender. In addition to our other 100 assets we've included in the add-on. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install the new procedural pack into Blender once you get it through the update on Blender Market and how you can very simply adjust the setting of each building. And as I mentioned, right now we've just released three procedural assets with City Builder. However, we do plan on building many more procedural assets in the future, so stay tuned for for those as always the updates to the full version will continue to be free on blender market anyways guys this should be a pretty quick video here we are inside of blender let's go ahead and first install the uh, add-on panel here so i'll just go to edit and then preferences and uh, this is the same process we've used to install all of the other uh, add-on files but just in case you missed it or if you don't want to go back to that video it's very simple here you just go to add-ons and then click on the install button and then you'll just navigate to where you've saved your download of your city builder procedural install file and i'll go ahead and click on that and then click on install add-on and uh, now as you can see here it should pop up here you should be able to select it to enable it if it doesn't pop up you can search for it under city builder and you'll should see all of your different city builder packs that you've installed and make sure that procedural one is selected and uh, we'll go ahead and close this interface now and now we can go to our right transform tab here and select city builder 3d and you'll have all your different asset packs available to you depending on which ones you've installed at the moment and as you can see here right here we have our procedural assets panel so as i mentioned we have three different buildings with us right now we have a procedural favela a uh, procedural hong kong style asset and a procedural uh, Kind of a brick apartment complex kind of like a new york city style apartment complex with a ground floor with kind of like stores and stuff and of course we'll be adding more so if you watch this video in the near future you'll probably see a bunch more different procedural assets and maybe some more functionality to add these to your scene it's very simple obviously just click on the button here we'll add the procedural favela it will enter into the middle of your scene here these specific assets work with both ev and cycles i recommend using cycles but uh, ev also looks great once you add some ambient occlusion and some screen space reflections but uh, to edit this asset all you have to do is just go to your modifier properties tab here while it is selected and we have a very simple geometry node here where we can control the length of the building and then we can control the width of the building and then of course we can also control the height of the building all the way up to 34.5 and all the way down to I think maybe two stories probably our limit here you can do one but it uh, starts glitching at that point so two stories is your limit on the lowest level and then you can go pretty high here as well in addition to adjusting all of your other settings and also just for your convenience we've also added a little randomized property here where you can just kind of scroll uh, and change the random seed for the entire building giving it some variation this is particularly useful for uh the rooftop assets if you want to distribute them a little bit differently or for example perhaps you just want the same height of a building let's press shift d and duplicate it and you don't want the exact same setup you can of course just change the random seed and it'll give you a little bit different look and of course you can also change you know whatever you want and uh this is just a really nice way that you can create your own city with the same style of asset but then also have the ability to make each building different in your scene but uh, anyways i'll go ahead and delete the second one here and go to rendered view really quick just to show you the procedural favela this is our procedural favela and as you can see here some pretty nice detail even up close we got some nice windows some air conditioning units um some uh you know balconies here some variation in the overhangs got some clothes hanging lots of different very variation for your scenes your ground floor consists of some uh, garages and entrances covered in graffiti going for kind of a derelict style look here and your rooftop has some nice specularity on it a uh, little grungy got some ac units some towers some uh, antennas stuff like that that you would see normally in this environment but uh, anyways that's the procedural favela i'll go ahead and delete this asset go ahead and show you guys procedural hong kong really quick this is probably my favorite procedural asset that we've created so far just like for the procedural favela we also can control the length the width and the height for this asset as well and the randomized setting for some variation um, which is particularly useful for these top assets if you want to get different you know signs on top of the building perhaps you don't want two of the same sign you can you know change the random factor and try to get something that you like and i'll just go to rendered view as well for this asset just to show you guys what it looks like here 
As you can see, we got some neon signs on the top of our building here, um, as well as along the sides. On the bottom level, we have some garages and kind of some small shops here. If I just zoom in, you can see that we have some entrances, some car repair shops, some bike repair shops. In our apartment complex here, we have, uh, you know, some different window styles. We got a normal glass window and then we got kind of this, I'm not really sure the name of this kind of window, but just a little bit more stylistic and cultural. We have some nature detail added with these leaves here and some signs that we just have hanging on the various parts of the building. And uh, so this is our uh, Hong Kong style asset. Finally, I'll just go ahead and delete this one and I'll show you guys the brick complex here. And the controls are the same for this brick complex. I'll just go to render view really quick. And as you can see here, this is our brick procedural complex here. Basic rooftop here. We got some trash that you can randomize and distribute in different areas. You can change your randomized setting here to get different distributions of assets on the top here. Got some cardboard boxes like somebody's just, you know, walked up here and put their trash or something up here to get rid of it. Got some pretty standard windows here. Got some clothes hanging. We've tried to detail this asset with some nature as well which again you can randomize here and we have a few more shops on the downstair level as well as well as that nice entryway with its own uh, little sign here but uh, anyways guys i just wanted to make this video to show how you can control these assets super simple to use you can duplicate them change their length width and height and that random setting and kind of uh, build your own version of this style of city but uh, i hope this video was helpful i'll be making lots more blender tutorials coming very soon so stay tuned for those let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see next and I'll see you next time.